verse 27 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We are continuing the instruction Jesus gives in anticipation of the disciples' first mission to the towns and communities of Galilee. Of course, the principle here applies much more broadly, and there is a sense in which the information and instruction provided here is also going to be incorporated by the disciples in the more expansive mission uh, outreach that they will they will undertake after the Great Commission. But uh, either way, this particular uh, injunction applies uh, to both cases. So we have uh, Jesus saying ho, the relative pronoun and the accusative here, standing as the direct object of lego, I say. So what I say to you, this is the direct object, the indirect object is who men to you, the dative of uh, the second person uh, pronoun. So what I say to you, in preposition with the dative, te scotia, the dark or the darkness. So what I say to you in the darkness, uh, probably simply alluding to the fact that Jesus gave these instructions in relative uh, privacy. Uh, these weren't necessarily uh, instructions that were given to crowds, but more to the gathering of the disciples with Jesus alone. So what I say to you in the darkness in that sense, uh, epita from Lego, I say, this is the second aorist, of course, second person plural aorist, active imperative. So what I say to you in the darkness, say, uh, in to foti, in the light, foti in the dative here with the dative article. So it stands uh, in contrast, of course, to scotia. So what I say in the darkness, uh, announce, uh, say out in the light, chi, kind of in a parallelism, uh, that which, same idea, it's the relative pronoun, and that which, ace, preposition with the accusative, to us, us is the word for ear. This is the accusative, so that which, into the ear, uh, acuata, you hear, so uh, now the shift is to uh, the idea of hearing this. And once again, into the ear is sort of idiomatic for the idea of saying it in private, uh, as if for the audience of just the person being addressed there. Keruxata, uh, from Keruso, I preach. This is the second person plural. Aorist active imperative. So what you hear uh, into the ear, proclaim. Epi, preposition with the genitive here, tone doma, doma tone, upon the roof drops. Uh, doma, of course, uh, the word from which we get the word dome, uh, stood for the roof, and uh, that was not an uncommon place from which people might uh, uh, resort, and uh, they could certainly make an announcement to a broader audience if they announced it, proclaimed it from a rooftop. So the point here is Jesus gives private instructions, but they're not supposed to remain private, that uh, even though these things may be reserved to their uh, audience in the near term, nevertheless all of this instruction is to be disseminated to the world, uh, that this is to be proclaimed publicly, and that of course becomes one of the most important aspects of the mission work that is done by these disciples, both in the near term and in the uh, distant uh, time as well.